We're doing some chicken and beans. While we're going to sip on some of this Pitmaster from Twisted X Brewery here in uh, Texas. From Dripping Spring, Texas. And what I have today is a couple of packs of pre-seasoned leg quarters from HEB. But I'm going to kick them up a notch and by adding some Circle Star Spicy to these uh, uh, chicken quarters. You guys can go out and get yourself some over at... Uh, CircleStar.us CircleStarBriskettRub.us This rub right here is fantastic. It'll bring your chicken to the next level. Very savory, delicious rub here, you guys. So I'm going to get all sides. There's another shot for you guys. Uh, this comes out so, so freaking good. Nice little close-up here. The smells that come out of this this rub are just hypnotizing. It just smells so good. Uh, quite possibly my favorite um, rub to use on chicken currently. And there's my second pack. So we're gonna do the same thing. Get them lightly dusted on all sides, and get them ready to. Put on the cooker. These chicken quarters are fantastic, guys. You can get just, you know, they're, they're cheap, they're plentiful, they cook fairly quickly, and uh, they're delicious. It's probably the best part of the chicken, besides the wing, the flat, <laughs> besides the flat. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna put these into the Rectech Bullseye today, hot and fast. But I'm also going to be adding some of these hickory uh, wood chips into the heat deflector of the Bullseye. I've done it before. Uh, I, I don't put it on video as much as I as much as I do it, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. All right, into the bullseye. Get that grill grate out the way. And what I like to do, I like to put like three different piles around that uh, heat deflector. Kind of strategically across each other. And yeah, I mean, if you could do it any which way you want to, but this is just the way that, that I do it. Um, it works on any other pellet grill as well. Give it a shot. Right on top of that heat deflector. Put my grill grate back on. And that's that's it, man. When it comes up to temp, those those wood chips are gonna start smoking a lot. Uh, from a pellet, a hopper, we're gonna top it off with uh, none other than Bear Mountain. Uh, gourmet blend uh, pellets. These are fantastic pellets, you guys, from Bear Mountain. Uh, quite possibly my favorite pellet. Uh, it just the flavor that they put out, it, it's just perfectly balanced. Very, very good. You can definitely taste it. Pick you guys up some. So we're going to go ahead and just top off my pellet hopper with them. Just about hot down there at the very bottom. And I just like using this little Rectech Bullseye for all these cooks, you guys. This has to be my favorite grill to use. This Rectech uh, Bullseye. It's so easy to use, so easy to clean. It's just everything about it is just so convenient, you know. Okay, so into the pellet grill we go. Got it set at 375. I like my chicken hot and fast to get that nice crispy skin. And uh, we will be getting a little bit of flame up on the wood chips. But not to worry. When you do this, if you have a bullseye and you do it just like this and you crack it open. And I'm going to even put it in slow-mo for you so you can check it out. All that smoke that those wood chips are putting out. Uh, now that you're getting that extra air because you opened that lid... Those wood chips are probably gonna light just like these, just like these did, okay? 
I'm not hiding anything from you. This will happen to you if you leave that lid open. But it will turn off as soon as you close it, okay? And you will continue to get that delicious smoke. It's nice and smoky. Very, very good. This chicken's looking just about done. Beautiful color. Smelling fantastic. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what temp I bring them up to. I like pushing it closer to the 200. It does stay juicy. It does not dry out, you guys. Um, you're going to get dry chicken if you slow smoke it. That's, I mean, that skin will get real leathery. But when you cook it hot and fast, that skin is going to be bite through and delicious. Nice and crispy. And that's the first batch. Let's go ahead and put in the second batch. Coming back in, another five. Just any way, which way you want it. Plenty of smoke still coming out of there. Now again, guys, this is at 375. And we're still putting out quite a bit of smoke. And this is what they're looking like. But, you know, I sense something. And I smell something very, very breakfasty. <laughs> There's my boy, Mr. Al Lunatic himself. Came up from South Texas in a little town called Westlaco. North of Mexico, let's go. He came up to hang out with the trumpet today. And this is it, guys. This is what it's all about. Delicious chicken and beans. Simple dinner. It's all about delicious, simple food with, with you know, good food, good friends. And we had a fantastic time. Um, more videos to come, you guys. I appreciate you all watching my content and commenting. Um, lots more in the pipeline. I hope you guys stay connected. Until the next time, peace out.